Ladies and gentlemen, President Biden delivered his State of the Union address heading into the 2024 election. It was a speech marked by vigor and resolve, underlining the administration's accomplishments and mapping out plans for the future. In a wide-ranging address, the president touched upon critical issues such as the economy, health care, climate change, and national security. He underscored the strength of the economy, highlighting record low unemployment rates and significant legislative victories. Yet he acknowledged widespread concerns about inflation and the direction of the country. In the realm of healthcare, President Biden stood firm on defending programs like Social Security and Medicare, drawing sharp contrasts with opponents who proposed drastic changes to these lifelines for many Americans. Climate change was another cornerstone of his speech, with the president asserting the urgency of this global crisis and America's role in combating it. On national security, he was unequivocal, ensuring that the safety and security of Americans remain a top priority. Throughout the address, the underlying theme was unity. President Biden emphasized the importance of unity and working together to address the nation's challenges. He implored Americans to set aside divisions and work towards a shared vision of prosperity and progress. Indeed, the State of the Union address was not just a recap of past achievements but also a call to action for a brighter future. Now let's delve deeper into some of the specific topics discussed during the address. First up, in vitro fertilization or IVF and Roe v. Wade, President Biden emphasized the importance of women's rights to their reproductive health, including access to affordable IVF treatments and preserving the landmark decision of Roe v. Wade. Then, the economy and consumer confidence took center stage. The president spoke about the record low unemployment rates and significant legislative victories, but acknowledged the need to address inflation and boost consumer confidence. In the realm of technology, the issue of semiconductor chips was brought up. The president highlighted the importance of domestic production of these crucial components to maintain America's technological edge. Healthcare, a perennial hot topic, wasn't left out. Prescription drugs, the Affordable Care Act, and women's health were all addressed. The president reaffirmed his commitment to making healthcare more affordable and accessible. Next, the president discussed mortgage rates and education. He acknowledged the challenges many Americans face with soaring property prices and student loans and pledged to implement measures to alleviate these burdens. Fiscal responsibility was a key theme, with the president addressing the deficit, taxes on big companies and billionaires, and the debate around trickle-down economics. He stressed the need for a fairer tax system and responsible fiscal policies. Social Security and Medicare cuts were also mentioned, with the president firmly standing against such actions, vowing to protect these vital programs for the American people. On the topic of borders and the right to vote, the president underscored the importance of secure borders and the sanctity of the democratic process. He also spoke about preserving history, the need for climax control and tackling crime and school killings, emphasizing the need for common-sense gun control measures. In terms of international relations, the president addressed the challenges posed by China and reiterated his commitment to supporting veterans. These topics, as addressed by President Biden, shed light on the current state of the nation and the administration's focus for the future. After taking a closer look at the topics discussed, let's summarize the key points. President Biden's State of the Union address outlined a clear path for the future, with a focus on key issues like the economy, healthcare, climate change, and national security. The administration's accomplishments were highlighted, including record low unemployment rates and significant legislative victories. While the current state of the nation presents challenges, particularly in areas like inflation and consumer confidence, the president stressed the importance of unity and cooperation to navigate these complexities. He also took a strong stance on women's health, education, and the rights of veterans, while addressing concerns about social security and Medicare cuts. In the realm of technology, the president emphasized the need for advancements in semiconductor chips to boost our economy and maintain our global competitive edge. He also pledged to continue the fight against big companies and billionaire taxes, aiming to create a more equitable economic landscape. The address also touched on the importance of preserving history, managing our borders, and ensuring the right to vote. These points among others serve as a reminder of our collective responsibility to build a better future. As we can see, the State of the Union address serves as a roadmap for the administration's plans and gives us a clear picture of the current state of the nation. 
To stay informed and participate in our democratic process, it's important to stay engaged and informed. The world around us is constantly changing, with new issues and challenges cropping up every day. From the economy and women's health to education and the rights of veterans, these topics touch our lives in profound ways. The decisions made by those in power can have a lasting impact, and it's crucial that we make our voices heard. How can you make a difference? It starts with staying informed. Keep up with current events understand the complexities of issues like the deficit, the Affordable Care Act and the future of Social Security and Medicare. Engage in conversations about these topics, share your opinions, and challenge your own beliefs. But being informed is just the first step. The next is participation. Exercise your right to vote and make sure your voice is heard. Participate in the democratic process because it's through this process that we can shape the future of our nation. So, are you ready to take that step, to deepen your understanding, to participate and to make a difference? Like, comment, and subscribe to the Register to Vote YouTube channel, to stay updated on the latest news, and engage in thoughtful discussions. Remember, your voice matters.